shots up, she gon' get it done. Like and subscribe, you gon' have fun. Anything custom, she gon' get it done. Ooh, ooh. Hey, welcome to Nisi's Custom. Today, I'm gonna show you how to do a sublimation license plate. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and look at the whole video. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and that notification bell, so you won't miss any of my videos. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and begin. Like I said, we're doing a sublimation license plate. I have my license plate. I have my design. You're gonna need a pair of scissors and some heat tape. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. First, with these license plates or any other sublimation um, products that you use, they always gonna have this protected um, clear wrap on the on the item i already took that off but i'm gonna show you give me one minute okay you have to take this off first before you can start sublimation I printed my image out on 13 by 19 paper. You can eight, you can use eight and a half by eleven, but you probably need to um, minimize your image so it can fit on there, and it probably won't cover the whole thing. So, or you could do the two part, split it in half. Then you could put it on there. But right now, I'm just cutting my image out. So how's everybody doing? Is everybody wait, um, ready for Christmas? I know I am. Let me cut this. Uh, you know what? I waste my time by cutting this whole thing, cutting it all around and all that. I'm just gonna cut it. And put it on my license plate. Put this down, cause I know y'all don't wanna look at that mess on my desk back there. Okay, you're just gonna take your image. And this is what I like to do. I like to put my image We'll put my product on top of my image so I can line it up real good. That's what I like to do. That's what I'm trying to see. And you're just going to put your heat tape. I'm just look like it just flew out my mouth. I don't know what it was. I'm sorry about that. I know that's nasty. Okay. I got it on there. See it. Let me see. Go to my heat press. I'm going to tear a piece of butcher paper off. Set it right there. Put my on there. I'll just put that on top of that. No. Uh-uh. And I forgot to... You want to um, move your heat press 400 degrees. For 60 seconds. I might do it for 60 seconds. I'm not sure. I have to get the feel of it. And of course, you know, you have to put your butcher paper on top. 
Teflon sheet on top. I'm just waiting for that temperature to come up. Then again, let's see how it's going to look with my temperature at 368 degrees. I'm just curious. For 60 seconds, firm press. Let's see how that works. Okay. We're going to take this off. Take this paper off. And we're going to see how it looks. Oh, guys, this thing looks. Oh, that is hot. It looks good. It looks good. That looks good. So I pressed it at 60 seconds for 360 degrees. And that thing looks good. Okay, y'all. That's the end of my video. I'm going to have um, the temperature and how long did I press it in the description box. And then and I can't even get it out today. And guys, I appreciate y'all looking at my video. Remember, God loves you and I love you too. Peace. If you need some custom, call Nisi Custom, she gon' get it done. Like and subscribe, you gon' have fun. Anything custom, she gon' get it done. Ooh, 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 ooh. Anything custom.